Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we've been talking about this storm really for days, and one thing we're confident about, it's not one of those will last a minute, it's going to miss us. We're getting the storm uh, Saturday evening, Saturday night into Sunday. We're getting precipitation, and it'll, it'll be windy and messy. Trying to nail down the precipitation type and, and the amounts, that's the tricky part, but we're going to certainly show you, show you some hard numbers, obviously. In Providence, uh, simple, cold, quiet, and dry. Temps in the upper 20s to low 30s under mainly clear skies. 28 Providence, 26, actually 28 Smithfield, 26 in Providence, 27 in Bedford. So the atmosphere initially is primed. It's cold enough to support snow. So when the moisture arrives tomorrow evening, it starts to snow everywhere. And then for a while, it's some, some rain and sleet is going to try to sneak in and then flip back over to snow later on Sunday. So how long and where, you know, the rain sleet mixes in will dictate who gets the most snow and who gets very little. Still feel as though it's right up in here. Northern part of the state getting the most, not as much along the coastline. So threat tracker remains low tonight, right on through tomorrow, the daylight hours of Saturday. It's dry and then this all kicks in on Sunday. The arrival time now has been upped sooner. So the first flakes of snow, I would say starting by uh, 8 o'clock in the evening, and, and unfortunately, it's really ramping up, coming down heavy by 10, 11 o'clock Saturday night. A brief change to sleet and rain, especially south and east of Providence, and then a flip back over to snow on Sunday as the temperature turns colder again. So mainly clear, dry across New England right now. You can clearly see the moisture that we're tracking across the Mississippi Valley and the Gulf Coast, all moving north and east. It'll ride up over on top of cold air that's in place right now and why initially we'll start off as snow. So there it is. Here it comes. Watch the time bar. This white represents increasing clouds on Saturday morning. This is 9 a.m., but dry. Now, Saturday, 9 a.m., I mean, the precipitation is still across the Carolinas and the Mid-Atlantic. But it wastes no time getting in here by as early as 8 o'clock in the evening. The blue is snow. Uh, heavy at times, the green is, is some rain just offshore. And some of that is going to try to sneak in uh, for a time. Snow, um, rain and sleet south and east of Providence. But again, it goes back over to snow. That's why the, the accumulation forecast is so complicated. It's so much easier if it were just all snow. Then the math is a lot easier. But different precipitation types. It is mainly snow in the areas in blue. Uh, elsewhere, Providence Metro, right? Essentially the I-95 corridor. Wet snow, sleet, maybe a little rain, then going back over to snow. Then the areas in green, it's, it's rain and sleet. But even here along the coastline, you will see some snow. It's just that the duration of it is not too long. So the accumulations range from the higher amounts north and west of Providence. It's darker blue, 6 to 9. Three to, in fact, let me bring it in even closer. So this darker blue, 6 to 9 inches of snow, meaning it can be as low as 6 to as high as 9. Providence, Metro, Warwick, Fall River, I-95, Corridor, Cranston, Northern uh, Washington County, anywhere from between three and six, so somewhere in that range, and then south of that, one to three inches. How's this for a detailed accumulation forecast? The, in alphabetical order, this is a list town by town in Rhode Island of how much snow will fall. I mean, this forest, uh, Foster at six to nine, Newport one to three, North Kingstown three to six. Now, this is a lot of information to, to see on TV at home, and this is Massachusetts as well, I mean, Attleboro four to eight. You can find this on our website, WPRI.com. Go to the Weather Now link, and we're going to do this with every snowstorm uh, where we'll list different towns. And specifically, as far as travel impacts, they kick in tomorrow evening through the overnight, and it does extend into uh, Sunday as well. All right, seven-day forecast clearly showing the weather going downhill uh, Sunday evening, uh, actually Saturday evening, Mike, Saturday night, and into Sunday. That temperature on Sunday, 36, is deceiving. That's early in the morning. It's going to crash into the 20s on Sunday afternoon. Also, a lot of wind with the storm as well, especially along the coastline. High impact. We've seen bigger storms than this, obviously, but it's enough to really cause some problems as far as travel. Get rid of the snow before it freezes. Too. Yes. All right, Tony, <laughs> coming up next.